Welcome to Saving a Buck today. Today we are going to be doing a little project for myself. It is a project where I can make a drill organizer. I'm going to try to make something right over here to hang on the wall to organize some drills and things. If you're like me, they're, uh, well, you can see some of them over here. I've got one, two, three, or six or so right there. I've got another four or five in a bag. And I've actually got a couple things down in the cabinet like grinders and things I want to organize and put in a rack. Um, and that way I can put the chargers there, the batteries, everything can be in one spot. Um, I know there's a bunch of these on the internet, but I'm going to do my own little thing. And everybody's different. You may build one different for your uh, ideal situation. I'm just going to use scrap lumber, so I'm not going to have much material in this. I've got all kinds of MDF laying around here from cabinet projects and things, so the uh, only thing I'm really going to be out is my time. Uh, I can guesstimate about how much it would cost the time we get done, and then uh, we'll see how it turns out. But hey, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, please do that. It goes a long way. It makes me know that I'm doing a good job making videos. And uh, I know I haven't been on here for a while, but we're going to start doing some more videos and, and picking up where we left off. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Let's get this project started. All right, guys. So, right now, I've taken some of my scrap pieces. They are six and a quarter is the sideboards here. Uh, these are also going to be six and a quarter by 15, which is my length right here on my backboard. My backboard is 15 inches. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll take, we'll put a sideboard up here. This is a shelf. And then I have another one. It's exactly the same. We'll put here. And then the total length of these it's 45 and 3 8 so it don't have to be exact and then we'll put a sideboard here and that's the start of my my shelf for my chargers up here on the top I'll have some dr just places to put my uh, drill bits and things like that I got a lot of little boxes I'll show you here I've got oodles and oodles of these little boxes of drill bits and things, you know, that I'm going to try to put in here and stack. And on my bottom, which you can't see yet, it'll be on the bottom of this board here, is where I'm going to make my slots for my drills to hang in there. And then I'll probably take and round off this corner right here on these just so it looks a little bit better. Um, I won't do the bottom because it'll actually be on the ends of holding one of my drills. So that's where we're at right now. Um, so the dimension so far is 45 and 3 eighths long. It's about 7 inches deep and 15 inches tall. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more things, uh, some pieces of scrap rounded up here. Uh, to start making the slots and I'll probably round these over real quick with a bandsaw. Um, if you don't have a bandsaw, you can use a scroll saw, jigsaw, whatever you got. Just uh, round that off if you want. You don't have to, but I do. Just so it looks a little better on the very top. And uh, let's keep going. I'm just going to take a roll of tape here to make my rounded corners that I'm on to the top of my shelf. Add a little glue to our sides.
Okay, we got our sides on there. Wipe off a little bit of glue. So now we've got to put our two sides on right here. What we're going to do is come up four inches from the bottom. Make as a mark, four inches. Make as a mark. We're going to put a little bit of glue on that. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll nail the back of that. Let me flip it over. Turn this around. We'll grab our top piece. And what it'll do is it'll slide right down in here. Like that. And then we'll have a shell. We are going to measure four inches down. Four inches down. Put a little bit of glue on this. Slide it in place. Same thing as the other side. Now basically we have our shells. We know our depths of our nails is four inches to the shelf. So we'll flip it over here. Four inches there. Four inches there. Now we'll, we'll go for a three eighths and we'll make a mark to put our nails. That's where our board is. So that's where we'll put our nails. That one's a little squiggly, but it still works. That should be that. We'll see how many times, hopefully. They all went in. So now we're just going to wipe off some leftover glue. Okay, so now we have our shelf. And now we got to build these little racks right here. So. Nothing major, just something cheap. We've got these. These are four by six and a quarters. And we're going to put them right in here. Okay, so what I've done is put these on five inch centers. I've got 45 and a half. 
Let's see, inside to inside I have 44 inches, so I split it and put them at 5 inch centers. It comes out real close. Um, and then from there we'll put our little bottoms on these to uh, make them hold the drills, but that gives you plenty of wiggle room in there to uh, put whatever kind of drill you want in there. So right now we'll put these on and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I got eight eight of these pieces uh they are two and three quarters by seven and an eighth and they'll go here i've got two of these pieces which are skinnier for my ends inch and three quarter by seven and an eighth and they'll go on the ends so what we'll do is stick them on here put them in the centers Just like that, and so on and so on, and nail them all. My ends on first. You want to make sure you nail into the bottom piece. That'll help you hold it straight. You can make this as fancy as you want it, but <clears throat> this here is going to work for me. I'll put my chargers up here, some drill bits in here, drills and stuff right through here. So we got the chargers, got a bunch of drill bits, miscellaneous bits, batteries. Some of them's got extra batteries on them. Uh, it's even big enough for your saws off you want to hang it in the other way uh, down here on the end I've got uh, another flashlight and stuff it'll all fit um, but like right here's a grinder uh, you guys these are cheap do-it-yourself projects thanks for looking at it thanks for watching me see you next time